Hey friends, welcome back to our Fixer Upper Farmhouse or welcome if you are new here. My name is Candice and in today's video we are continuing my winter decluttering series where I am attempting to declutter my entire house throughout January and February. If you missed episode 1 where we went through and did an initial decluttering of our basement, I will link it at the end of this video so you can watch it after this one. In today's episode, we are going through the bathroom. Here is an overview of what it's looking like and we are touching everything emptying every drawer every cabinet decluttering things we don't need and cleaning as we go also in this video i will be sharing my tips for decluttering your home as well so whether you are decluttering or cleaning a space in your home along with me or building up some motivation before you get started i hope you enjoy the video come a little closer i want to dance with Moving slower I don't know what it is you do I've been looking at you all night Trying to figure you out I just want to make you smile Although decluttering can be such a daunting task, getting rid of things in your life that no longer serves a positive purpose is always worth it. If you are wanting to declutter your home but don't know where or how to begin, I encourage you to start small. For a quick and easy win, first choose your target. Your target can be a specific type of item in your home like your coffee mugs or your clothes or your target could be a certain space like a bookshelf or a closet. In this video, my target is our entire bathroom. But keep in mind, our bathroom is not that big. So I felt pretty comfortable setting the entire bathroom as my target on this day. But on a smaller scale, I could have easily chosen to declutter just one drawer of this vanity or all three drawers of the vanity. The important thing about choosing a target is that you are deciding where you will be focusing your attention. It's so easy to get distracted, especially when you're doing something you don't enjoy doing at least for me it is so i find it easier when i target my energy so instead of just telling myself okay today i'm gonna declutter by choosing my target i'm now saying okay today i'm gonna declutter the bathroom vanity or the clothes in my dresser or the coffee mugs in the kitchen and that just helps me to focus when distractions arise Once you have your target, set a couple basic ground rules for yourself. Like, if I haven't used this coffee mug in the past year, then I'm gonna donate it. Or, if I have a ton of shirts in the same color, then I'm only gonna keep my favorite top three. The most important thing here is that these ground rules are set by you for you. Let me say that again for the people in the back. These very basic ground rules are set by you for you. Now why did I repeat that? Because I need you to hear me when I say decluttering is not just about letting go of stuff. For some people, myself included, decluttering sometimes also means letting go of an attachment to something. And it is nobody's business but yours to decide when you are ready to detach from whatever it is you're holding on to. And no, this doesn't mean that you're a failure at decluttering your space. You're not a failure. You haven't failed at simplifying your life. You may just need time. Time to heal, time to learn, time to grow, time to live. But I promise, for every item in your home that you need a little more time with, there is another that you're ready to let go. It may not look like it, but we are making progress. So this whole trash can is full. I'm gonna get a new bag for that. Although it still looks like a lot of clutter, a lot of these drawers are empty. So the bottom three drawers here are empty. And then I know for sure I wanna keep this drawer medicine. Any like pill-like medicine like this. If each little tab or each little serving of medicine has an expiration date on it, so this one is expires March of 2026. I just throw out the box to get rid of that clutter and then I'm just gonna keep the pills itself in this little organizer. Also, I'm gonna take out this. 
all of these cups because I'm only gonna keep, depending on the sizes, I might keep like two of each size and then give the rest away. 30 milliliters. This one goes up to 60 milliliters. I'm gonna keep the 60 milliliter one. Probably keep a couple of the 30 milliliter ones. And then maybe keep a couple of the 20 milliliter ones. And then the rest, I'll donate. Also, if you need a reminder to check the expiration on your, medi on your medicines, these are uh, children's Zyrtec. And we have a whole baggie full of them. And I just checked, look at that. Oh, November of 2023, that's not too bad. I thought some of them said, oh yeah, here. So they're all mixed up because this one says February of 2022. So either way, all of these are going into the trash. And we're gonna keep going. This is what it's looking like now. She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it must rain before so you've picked the target and made a few basic ground rules for yourself. Finally, it may help to set a specific and achievable goal. For example, I'm going to go through all of my coffee mugs. I'm not going to keep any that I haven't used within the last year. And my goal is to only have, let's say, seven left in the cupboards. Or I'm going to declutter my clothes in the closet until I fill an entire trash bag full to give away. Your goal can even be time-based. Like, I'm gonna go through my targeted area or things for 15 minutes every day until I fill this box of things that no longer serve a positive purpose in my life. And then I'm moving on to my next target. Before we finish up the bathroom, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I pulled out. A lot of it is for Mila to go through. These are definitely gonna be either thrown away or donated. This. To be honest, I think this is like a face wash thing, but I've never seen Mila use this, so um, I would just donate that. These are brand new. I bought them for myself. Never use them. I'm just going to donate those. This whole bag is full of nail polish. There's some nail polish in here. I'm going to have Mila go through them when she comes home from school. Um, and I'll just have her pick out a few that she really likes and the rest will be donated. These are bath bombs that she got for Christmas years and years ago. So either she's going to use them, throw them away, or donate them. This entire bag is full of hair ties, all different types of hair ties. Oh, I see some. Is that a bracelet? There's just a bunch of stuff in here. So I want Mila to go through that as well. This one's full of hair clips. This is a hair clip. This is all old makeup, my old makeup, and I just wanna throw them away. Um, but I know Mila's been interested in makeup, so I don't know. I'll have her go through them, see what she wants. More hair clips, more hair ties. So all of this is going to stay here until Mila gets home. I'll have her pick out a few things and the rest we're just going to either throw away or donate. So let's finish up the bathroom real quick and then I'll show you guys the end result. So memories, try to recall before they
this bathroom put back together, I'll give you a quick look back at where we started and the progress we've made today. I hope this video gave you some motivation to tackle some of the clutter in your own home. And if it did, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I want to thank you all for stopping by the farmhouse and spending time with me today. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! When I saw you walking